hey guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey if you are new please take a second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video so today is July 1st I'm praying praying to God that July is better than the previous six months of this year. But for some reason, I have a really good feeling about July. I think it's gonna be a great month and I hope you guys feel the same. When I say great, I don't mean, you know, 10 times better, but I do mean it'll be an improvement from what we've been going through these past couple months. Also, for the month of July, I am going to be doing something called the Consistency Challenge on Instagram where I will be posting something every single day. I'm pretty much just going to use this time to push myself creatively and figure out new ways to create content. Here in Florida, our coronavirus numbers are through the roof and so the Apple store that I work at just recently closed again so I will be working from home even more now so I have even more time to you know do what I love which is this so like I said on Instagram I will be doing a consistency challenge meaning I will be posting every single day and every day I plan to share my current favorite products so I'll be doing skincare products hair care products body care products everything and you know I get questions all the time like I see you use all these products or you promote all these products but what are your top favorites so if you want to tune in to see what you know my top favorite products are at the moment definitely follow me on instagram it's underscore casey leah and tune in because i'll be posting every single day for the month of july even if i have to post at 11 57 p.m i'm gonna post every single day so for today's video i am going to be sharing some of my favorite products for the summertime um, my summertime essentials some of these products are going to overlap from the last video that i did on my hygiene routine just because you know it's summer so my hygiene products are going to roll over to my summer essentials Essentials. I also have some makeup products that I think are essentials for the summer. I'm hoping that we won't be on lockdown for the entire summer so hopefully you guys will be able to utilize some of these products. Let's get right into it. Okay so first things first we got to stay fresh and clean. Um, so I have my Necessaire body wash. As you guys can see it is already almost empty and I just got this like two or three weeks ago. To be honest my boyfriend has also been using this so we've both been just draining it out every single day and I'm hoping to get some more soon. This body wash is so good. I have the eucalyptus scent but it does come fragrance free, sandalwood and I think bergamot now. It is not cheap, but it is so worth the money. It lathers very well, but it's not like um, a soap that's going to dry out your skin. This stuff is packed with so many great ingredients. It has a multivitamin complex, which is going to help moisturize and brighten your skin. It feels good when you put it on. It feels very silky. I can't express like how much I love this body wash. I'm really hoping to work with Necessaire in the future because this is one of my favorite body care brands. Speaking of them, another product on my list is going to be the deodorant, which I also just recently started using. This is also in the eucalyptus scent and Again, I've been using it for maybe two weeks and it is bomb. I did mention this deodorant in my feminine hygiene essentials video as well. What stands out to me about this deodorant is that not only is it natural, but it also has malic and lactic acid, which are two acids that not only help with getting rid of odor or preventing odor, but it also helps to even and smooth the skin because those are exfoliating acids. So you're gonna get the odor protection along with the exfoliation, which is gonna keep your pits not only stink free or stench free but also bright and even plus I love this scent y'all know I am a eucalyptus girl so the necessaire body wash and deodorant definitely essentials for me for the summertime another product that I did mention in my previous video that's also going to be important for me in the summer and beyond is y'all know her y'all know her this is the honey pot normal foaming feminine wash Listen, if you don't already own this product after I've been talking about it for like two years straight, I don't know what you're waiting for, okay? I know that it's always sold out on their website, but typically you can find it in store at Target and you can also buy it online at Target.com. That's where I usually get mine and when I buy them, I buy like three of them just because I know they sell out so fast now. But it's crazy because when I first started using it, they used to never sell out, okay? So that's how y'all know, like, it's real, like the hype is not just a hype, it's a really good product. It's 100% natural, it's gonna keep you pH balanced. It's not like one of those feminine washes that are claiming to like make you smell good or have a scent. Um, it doesn't have a scent actually, it's fragrance free. You just take a few pumps in the shower, rub it all over your little kitty cat and trust me, you're gonna feel clean and balanced and um, especially if you're gonna be outside and you're gonna be sweating, you know, you need some extra 
cleansing down there. Also good for if you like to work out a lot or if you just want to be fresh in general. And it does come in three different formulas. This is the normal formula. There's also a sensitive formula and there is a mommy to be formula as well. Major key for kitty hygiene. <laughs> Something else that I have for hygiene purposes is going to be this um, body odor body odor. I just called this body odor. <laughs> it's going to be this body powder. Now, what's crazy about this product is that I just randomly bought this when I needed to have a powder for when I started sugaring myself at home, which we'll get into that too. But yeah, I needed a powder for waxing or sugaring myself at home. And this powder is so good. It's not like a regular baby powder. It's like uh, adult body powder. It's 100% talc free. It has vitamin A, C, and E. It also has aloe and chamomile. Now, I don't suggest using powder down there. Some people do that. I don't suggest doing that. But where you can put this is, I don't know about you guys, this might be TMI, but sometimes I do sweat like on my under boob. And so you can put a little bit of this powder under there to prevent that from happening. If you sweat obsessively, um, what you can do is apply your deodorant first and then put the powder on top and it'll help to enforce the perspiration and the odor protection. Also, if your feet sweat a lot, you can put this powder on your feet before you put on your socks or before you wear sandals. The good thing about this powder is that it is so light. I'll show you guys. The powder is so light that when you put it on, it literally melts away so you won't see it. So it's good to use on your feet even if you are going to be wearing sandals because once the powder dissolves into your skin, it's gone. And if, it, if you do still have like a white residue, you can always just put like lotion or something on top of it. And as long as it's directly in contact with your skin, it'll help with odor and it'll help with sweating. And this powder also smells really good. Like it doesn't smell like baby powder. It smells like it smells like lavender or something. I don't know. I'm obsessed with this powder. Absolute, absolute necessity for the summer. Two more things in the hygiene category. Speaking of feet, um, I also have this foot file here as a necessity. Let me tell you why. So you can most definitely exfoliate your feet with a scrub. I have two scrubs here that I'm going to talk about in a second. But you can scrub your feet all day with the exfoliating scrub. And sometimes that dead skin just will not come off. This bad boy, this foot file the dead skin will be gone. You have to be careful with it because you don't want to over exfoliate your feet because it can make your feet like, they can make the skin very sensitive and it can make things worse. So you want to only do this like maybe once every two weeks. You just take it. I do have a video on my channel showing how I do this. You can watch my shower routine if you want to see an example. But you just take it and scrub the dead skin on the rough parts of your feet. And again, don't scrub too hard. It can cause irritation. And only do it like one or two times a week. I mean, not one or two times a week. I know a lot of you guys are still on lockdown in your city and maybe your nail salons are not completely open yet. This foot file is gonna save your life if you cannot get a pedicure. I do believe there are like more gentle versions of this. Like people always say this one isn't really good for your feet, but I personally don't have any problems with it. I love it. There is like a, a foot egg or like a petty egg that I've seen that people say is better than this because this can be kind of rough on the feet, especially if you use it wrong. But just a little tip, I like to put some oil on my feet or I put like a lotion or a foot balm of some sort on my feet before using it just to help soften the skin so it's not as rough. And this will leave your feet baby soft, especially important for if you're gonna wear sandals, you cannot go out with crusty feet if you're wearing sandals, okay? Please. <laughs> so like I said, you can use a scrub on your feet if you don't feel comfortable using the foot file. One scrub that I mentioned a couple times on my channel recently um, is this Skin Fix Resurface Plus Gly Glycolic Renewing Scrub. It's a great all over body scrub for just exfoliating dead skin, um, brightening your skin, making your skin look nice and smooth. This is very unique because it not only has physical exfoliants in it, but it also has chemical exfoliants. Uh, like glycolic acid and lactic acid. You apply this on dry skin before you get in the shower, massage it all in, get rid of the dead skin, and then you rinse it off and your skin will be feeling left nice and smooth. Now, a new body scrub that I just recently got that I really shouldn't be showing y'all yet, but I've already tried it, is this body scrub from Souvenir. Souvenir is a black owned bath and body shop. I did buy this as a part of my black owned business haul and I was just so intrigued. I couldn't be patient and I've already used it like five times, which is crazy because it doesn't even look like I've touched it. Like, that's how much product you get in here. I've used this a couple times and barely anything is gone. But oh my God, 
You guys, this scrub smells amazing. It literally gives you summertime vibes. It's called Juicy Fruit. And on the front, you can see it has like mango, grapefruit, and peach. It literally gives that tropical vibe. It has raw sugar, olive oil, grapeseed oil, shea butter, um, steric acid, and fragrance, of course. It feels amazing on the skin. And then, like I said, the scent will just blow you away. Like, I'm just sitting here, and I can't stop smelling it. I'll talk a little bit more in detail about this in my black owned business haul um, but I just wanted to say like this is definitely one of my new summertime essential products because it works so well and it definitely has that summertime smell now with all this exfoliating going on you definitely need to be using sunscreen even if you don't exfoliate your skin you need to be using sunscreen even if you're gonna be sitting inside the house you need to be using sunscreen. So let me tell you guys some of my favorite sunscreens at the moment. So my absolute favorite right now, like absolute favorite, is this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. It's SPF 40 um, and it's water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. Let me tell you, this bad boy, if you do not like sunscreens or if you hesitate to wear sunscreens because you don't like that white cast, this one is literally clear. You have no excuse. I'm gonna show you guys right now. It literally comes out clear and when you rub it in, clear can't see it and on top of that it also has this really like smooth canvas like feel like almost like a primer so i love using this before i wear makeup another sunscreen i really like is this Versed sunscreen um it's a new brand i think they sell it at target this sunscreen is also really good the only difference is that it's not clear like this one but i like this one because it feels a little bit more moisturizing on the skin it has moringa seed extract and sea fennel this one is spf 35 this one's spf 40 it's definitely best to go up to spf 50 for your face um but as long as you're using spf in general that's all that really matters this one actually has um like a pink color when you first apply it looks like this but again once you massage it in it's a little harder to show on my hand but when you massage it in it pretty much disappears completely this one also smells good for some reason <laughs> like it doesn't really smell like sunscreen you know how some sunscreens have that like really chemically chemically <laughs> that really like chemical like smell i can't smell it with this one now those are spfs that i'll put on before i do my makeup or if i'm just going bare faced i'll just apply it as the last part of my skincare routine but i gotta put y'all on to something i just discovered a few days ago y'all ulta has this rose water setting spray it's spf 50 and it's a setting spray like I have never I still have yet to see a major brand make a setting spray that's SPF 50 on top of that it's a matte finish so if you're like me and you tend to have more oily skin it'll make your you know makeup last matte it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes um, and then it also has of course the UVA and UVB protection and it's dermatologist tested so even though this is a makeup setting spray this bad boy you can definitely just spray throughout the day which I love the idea of because there are times where you're outside for longer periods of time or if you're just out the house and you, you don't carry your freaking sunscreen in your bag with you this is so convenient because you can just take it at any point of the day and refresh your protection pretty much from the sun and oh my god it definitely smells like rose water unfortunately it does kind of have that sunscreen smell but as you guys can see it doesn't leave like a cast if anything it just makes my makeup glow even more and i live for refreshers anyway like i always carry a refresher with me in my purse and so this one like i'm so happy i came across this because i'm going to be using this all the time and again you don't have to wear makeup to use this you can spray this on your bare face if you want to and it's spf 50 like in spray form come on now it doesn't get any easier than that there's no excuse anymore i don't care if you're white yellow brown purple blue orange you need to be wearing sunscreen and if you're lazy about it try this out another product when it comes to spf that i think is very convenient and easy to use super goop glow oil also a product that i mentioned in my shower routine video this is also spf 50 but this one's for your body so i love this because it's not only an spf but it's also super moisturizing and it's going to give you that glow and protection all in one so just to show you guys how it looks i'll spray it on the back of my arm so it goes on like this and then you just massage it doesn't smell like sunscreen at all it gives you that instant glow you can compare my two arms look how dry this one is 
and look at that glow. I am obsessed with this product. Whoever came up with the idea of a spray SPF is genius because I don't know about you guys, but I hate rubbing that white SPF lotion on my skin. Like I hate it. So this is so good. Like if I was going to the beach anytime soon, which I'm not, but if I was, <laughs> I would definitely like slather my body in this. And again, it's a spray, so you can easily respray it throughout the day to enhance your protection, um, especially if you're gonna be getting wet or going swimming and the SPF protection goes away, you can just spritz, 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 and you're good to go. There's one product I did forget to mention during my whole hygiene section of this video, and that is my sugar paste. I did a video where I tried it on my underarms and I also did a video where I tried it on my bikini area. Both were pretty good successes. I buy this on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store down below. But as you guys can see, it's like halfway gone already and that's because I really have been sugaring myself. My sugar wax salon here in South Florida did reopen, but just to be safe, I haven't gone back. Sugar paste um, is basically just sugar, water, and lemon and it's a paste that you can use to wax yourself. This, I just stick in the microwave for like 15 to 20 seconds so it gets a little bit uh like movable i have an applicator that i use i apply it to my underarms pull it off it's like so convenient and so easy to use again check out the videos that i've done if you want to see step by step how it works but for those like emergencies where let's say you and your friends want to go to the beach last minute and you can't go to your waxer like you would and you don't want to go back to shaving because that'll mess up your whole wax routine it's good to have some sugar paste at home that you can easily use i'm honestly so grateful for this because there have been times where i needed to film like a shower routine or something where my underarms are up and i would have hair and then i wouldn't have time to go get a wax or you know, I didn't really want to shave because shaving, again, reverses all the benefits of waxing. So having that here for me, easy and accessible, is amazing. Same thing with the bikini area. You never know when you're going to need, you know, a quick little wax down there. I personally don't really like doing my own bikini area, but for an emergency, I'll do it. And I'll always sugar wax down there. I never, 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 never shave. It's honestly just way better for the skin. Okay, so last but not least, I do have a few makeup essentials. Typically in the summer, I wear less makeup because it's just too hot. I live in Florida, y'all. When I got up this morning at like eight, it was already 92 degrees. So you know that in the middle of the day, like the peak hour, it was like almost 100. So for me, I have very oily skin. So my absolute favorite setting powder is this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. You guys have probably seen me use this in so many videos and that's because this is the, literally the only powder that I use to set my face. It's a translucent powder. It kind of has like a yellow color, but when you press it into your skin, it's translucent. This baby keeps me oil free. I'm actually going to use it right now because I'm getting kind of oily. It's been a few hours since I did my makeup and that's something else I love about this is that it's so lightweight that it won't mess up your makeup if you needed to refresh throughout the day. I'll just put it on a sponge and I can't see myself, hold on. <laughs> I literally put it on a sponge and then I'll take it and just put it on the areas that are getting a little bit oily. And then, wow, I should have did that before I started this video. My forehead was so shiny, y'all. Please don't drag me. That looks way better. But you guys can see the difference in how my forehead was literally shining this whole video and now it looks nice and smooth and matte. That's why I love this powder because it's so easy to use just as a quick touch up and it won't mess up your makeup. It'll easily dissolve into your skin and it doesn't mess up your glow either. Wow, I really should have touched up before I did this video. <laughs> but glad I could show you guys how well this product works. So another makeup product that I have is this Kosas Bronzer. Y'all. Now bronzing is like one of my favorite steps of my makeup routine in general, but for the summertime, you need this bronzer in your life. I used to be a Bobbi Brown bronzer girl, which is, Bobbi Brown's bronzer is pretty, but it's a very like matte, straight brown color. This one, I feel like, I always struggle to open it. <laughs> this one, I feel like has so much dimension. Like, look at that, it has the color and then it also has a, like a slight highlight. It is just so pretty. I have it on right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have the deepest shade. This is the warm dark bronze. It only comes in three shades. I kind of wish they had more shades, but this color works perfectly for me. Best thing about it too is that it does have like shea butter in it. So when you apply it, it goes on so smooth and not harsh like most bronzers do. If you don't know what a bronzer does, it pretty much just helps to warm the skin. So it's not contouring. Contouring helps to like give 
uh, definition. Contouring, I just called this contouring when I just said the definition of contouring. <laughs> Bronzing helps to add warmth and um, just life to the skin. Because sometimes when you just put on foundation, it makes the skin look very flat. But if you want to add, you know, some color to your skin, but you don't want to waste your time contouring or you don't know how to contour, Bronzing is your ne next best bet, and I highly recommend this one for the summertime, guys. Like, it is so pretty. Another must-have makeup product for the summertime for me is this Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. This one is in the shade Medium Deep. Let me tell y'all, this palette, unfortunately, I dropped it earlier today, and I broke this little blush color here, but <sighs> this palette is so brown girl friendly. It has a contour color and then it also has these really two pretty highlight shades. This one's like a darker color and this one's a little bit lighter. It also has a brightener here in the middle which you would use on top of your highlight color under your eye. And then it also has a finishing powder color. I don't use a finishing powder but it's a really pretty color as well. And then this blush color, which I'm so mad that I dropped and messed up. It is so pretty. I don't have it on right now. I was gonna put it on but I didn't put it on. It is just, this is one of my favorite blush colors to wear just because it has like that deep pink color or like mauve. It is literally just so pretty. Like this palette, I can do my whole face with this palette if I wanted to. And again, this one is in the medium deep shade. It comes in three shades, I think, which is also really cool because, um, you know, not all contour palettes work for all skin colors. Okay, last but not least, um, if you are a faithful subscriber or faithful follower of mine, you already know, you already know. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is gonna give you moisture and high shine gloss all in one. Y'all know summertime, if you're not gonna wear makeup, it's like lashes and gloss or mascara and gloss or no makeup and just gloss all day. Like you have to have those shiny lips in the summer. This is so good. I'm about to put it on right now. I had on a little bit of gloss earlier, but it's almost gone. Y'all. It is, do y'all see that? Do y'all see my lips? Do y'all see my lips? Y'all, I don't think you understand. I know a lot of people like those um, beauty supply store lip glosses, but this is the lip gloss you need in your life. Because like I said, it's not just a lip gloss, okay? It's a lip gloss and it's gonna moisturize your lips all in one because it's a lip oil, juice infused lip oil. I really love the jojoba and peach one. This is the one that I wear the most and that I love. But it also comes in some other uh, scents as well. But oh my goodness, this, you need this lip gloss in your life, especially for the summer. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of the products overlap from my other video, but that's just because, you know, I love them that much. Again, if you're interested to see a bunch of my favorite products throughout the month of July, follow me on Instagram at underscore Casey to see my daily posts on my favorite products. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Those really help me out. I also want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart today for 280K. It's July 1st and we hit 280, so it just feels like you know it was meant to happen please 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 make sure you are subscribed if you haven't subscribed already and hopefully i'll see you guys all in my next video